Welcome to the Confile XYZ Plots screencast, a getting started video out of the Confile College online training series. Hello, I'm Hank Hinson. XY or XYZ plots can be generated for any parameter having a calculator icon because it's a calculated value. For example, the mass flow rate for an orifice calculation has a calculator icon and when you click it a pop-up screen appears with all possible parameters that are influencing this mass flow rate. The most obvious one is the delta P. If you click update you get a plot which is showing and it's a typical conval curve which is showing QM in function of differential pressure. Of course this is a square root curve which is typical for the turbulent flow. Notice, however, is uh, uh, the standard range that Conval has chosen is half and double the original value, which was 250 millibar. One has the ability with right mouse click to zoom and zoom um, to freeze graphs. For example, if you freeze the graph and you go to the calculation, and in this case, temperature was 15 degrees, but let's assume what the effect for 85 degrees, go back to the, to the um, XY plot and run an update and it will show the active curve and the stored curve. So it, it has the ability and again one can zoom and unzoom to see the effects. Another option is actually to actually look at an XYZ plot is to express the mass flow not only of delta P but maybe also in function of throttle D. We have a throttle of about 29 so let's assume we we'll go from 26 to 32 and you run an update and it yields a family of curves where in the legend, and of course you can reverse, you can reverse, you can change the scale, uh, log, whatever, but in this example let's assume 29, which is about the orifice plate that we have, and so again you see the effects of the orifice diameter as well as the delta P on the mass, on the mass flow. XYZ plots have proven over the years to be a very effective mechanism for training as well as for servicing unknowns about the data. And the following screen prints may help and may stimulate the viewer to maximize its use. This one is the isentropic exponent in function of operating pressure yielding values as you can see up to 6.4 we have seen values up to 12 where we were under the impression that the maximum was 1.67. Another one where it's not only analog values that you can test and this is showing mass flow rate in function of calculation standard yielding a good insight into, into the effect of the calculation standard. Another binary one is power loss in function of the primary device. And another one is the discharge coefficient in function of the primary device. Some good examples for you to stimulate. And this concludes this screencast. Thanks for watching Conval College.